What's up, YouTube? Right, I got some more live stream action. Um, so, this one was up against Luke. Now, this was a really, really good battle. Um, some interesting poke shoes on both sides as well. I hadn't seen, um, you know, we got Zangoose over there and we got uh, Star Raptor. So, you know, I, I was I was interested to see how my team would fare against them because my team does have a little bit of a flying weakness and uh, I know that thing hits really, really hard with uh, Reckless and stuff like that. Uh, we got Nuna King, um, you know, classic. Classic um, wall breaker and mix attacker, and you know he's got some other stuff like tender cruel as well. So I was thinking, I wasn't too sure what they were going to lead with. It was either going to be uh, Espion or tender cruel, maybe Staraptor with U-turn or something like that. That was sort of my thought process on this battle um, at the time. Uh, this team I'm using is sort of a you know uh, just a mix of my pokes. It wasn't really a team that I constructed, you know, to purely battle all together. It was just, you know, it was a congregation of six Pokemon. So we got Carbink. I wanted to thank you, the person that, um, I think your name was Kristen. Kristen, I hope I said that right. But thank you um, for giving me that Carbink because I'm going to use him in this battle. Uh, my, my Harvest Executor, which took me ages to get. I love that poke. Um, noodle Soups, um, Electros, so I'm bringing him back into this battle, and we've got my own master, Grand Bull, and my Hippon Lee. So, some interesting pokes in this battle, so let's get on to it. Whew. Okay. So, I hope you guys are having a good day as well. Had a fun weekend or whatever. Mm. I sure I I had a good weekend. Okay, so Shiny Zangus right off the bat. That um, looks awesome. Um, so, I've got my carving lead. I'm also Shiny, so we're both, um, we're both blue. Um, blue, Dava D. I just song, song just came into my head. <laughs> okay, um, so anyway, so in comes Espeon. Uh, I knew that Zangoose couldn't do a hell of a lot to me unless it was running, uh, running something. Uh, it, it, scrap that, it couldn't do much to me anyway. It's very, very this Carbink is so bulky. So I'm going to set the light screen up here uh, just to you know buff out all those uh, those special moves. I've got lefties on this thing as well, so you know it's nice and nice and nice and tanky. Um, you know, it's a, t it's a tanky little damn thing, this guy. <clears throat> like, you will never one-shot this thing. <laughs> it's very, very hard to. So, uh, I set the Stealth Rocks up there because I thought that might be uh, nice up against the... I know I noticed there was a, you know, a star, rat, star Rat during that team, so that would be nice against it. Uh, out comes the Tentacruel. Now, I sort of swap here because um, there's not else much I really want to do. And I'm going to go into Noodle because I've got my... Um, you know, I've got my special defense walls up, so I'm really bulky. Unfortunately there, he, uh, Tentacruel's gonna rapid spin those rocks away, so, you know, that that's, that was a sort of a bit of a, a letdown there. I couldn't get some more residual damage on the, uh, his pokes, but that's all right. Now, I'm gonna set up Coil here. Now, this is my uh, Coiling uh, Electros set. It's it's really potent. Uh, if you can get the Coils up, um, so it's, it is situational, and you sort of have, you have to have Screen support is really um, is really potent here, and for it to work, um, I probably should have, I definitely should have given that a, probably a, a different item than leftovers as well. I realised that, um, you know, to extend light screen or reflect. But at the time, I was in, you know, as I said, it was all pokes put together. So I get two coils off there. So Nita come King comes in, and I'm thinking, well, it can't use Earth Power because I've got Levitate. Um, it's yeah, it's going to use Sludge Oath because that's its most you know that's its most um, it's it's basically its best special attack. Uh, it does loads of damage to me. Um, I hit it with Dragon Tail, does nice damage, and it's going to get phased out there. So as you can see, the whole fact of this would be that um, you know if that Stealth Rocks was up on the field, it'd be doing some nice damage plus Dragon Tail Tail. So not a bad team, not a bad poke for a, like a phasing team as well. So uh, Espion is going to use Dazzling Gleam. I take that you know quite easily. Um, I'm just going to set the rest up here. Uh, get all my health back. This is a rest, um, a rest sleep talk. I'm just going to call it noodle. It's easier. Um, it's a rest sleeping talk noodle, and it is it is a it is a beast. So uh, in comes wreckage. Uh, um, I was thinking, well, I hope I go for Dragon Tail because Nidoking King is a great poke, and it does so much damage. And with that life orb. Um, with that life orb um, and sheer force, it's crazy. So out goes Nido King, <clears throat> and uh, fortunately I got the dragon up. So into Breloom here. Now, this thing started setting up, um, sorry, excuse me, I just got, 
It's right there. Okay, so this thing started setting up power up punches on me. Uh, now, I was like, I need to get rid of this guy with Dragon Tail. But I used Coil, so it wasn't all that bad because I sort of patched my defense um, as well as my attack there. So his power up punch is sort of, you know, we're, we're on even playing fields again for boost. So I wasn't too worried. That was a good result, actually, because, um, you know, I got an extra Coil up. And more, the more Coils this thing has, the better. And this thing has got a surprising amount of attack. Um... I think it's got like 266 attack without a boost. Um, yeah, so it's pretty decent. So into Zangos again, um, I know this thing would be like a toxic boost, you know, facade sort of guy. And, um, you know, I knew that I could hit it with Dragon Tail really strong uh, as well. Um, most definitely, I'd probably nearly one shot this or get very close. Anyway, so Zangos is going to hit me with a facade. That does loads of damage. Um, I'm sort of forced to go for rest because. Uh, like, you know, even if I did get rid of the Zangoose, I would be on low health, and the next incoming poke would probably most definitely uh, get uh, dispose of me. Um, so, this, as I said, this set does rely heavily on you getting coils up and sleep and rest up. So, Facade is doing absolutely monstrous amounts of damage to me, considering all those coils I've got up. Um, so, Sleep Talk again, and I get another coil, which, unfortunately, probably wasn't... You know, it wasn't the greatest thing I wanted, but, you know, it's, I got a defense buff and an attack buff, so it wasn't all that bad. Um, I would have much preferred getting a, a, a Dragon Tail to get rid of that thing, because I know, if uh, you know, a second facade is still going to hurt, you know, a lot of damage. Um, so I think that's about three or four coils that I got up um, at that stage. So... I go for Sleep Talk here again, I was hoping, please don't go for rest, please don't go for rest. And fortunately I get the Dragon Tail off, and that will finish the Zangoose off um, with a crit. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how much that mattered, because I did have a lot of attack up, but, and Zangoose isn't exactly the most bulkiest poke. Um, it would have been very close, as well as the toxic damage as well. So into Nidoking, King, I knew this thing would probably out, well, it would out me and finish me off with a Sludge Wave. But I was really, really happy there. Crit really didn't matter. Um, it's also that's why it's also important to have uh, screens up as well. So I really dirted out here. So I brought in my um, my Omar Star and I was like, oh, that's right, I got Focus Sash. What? I don't have Focus Sash on this thing. So I I, I openly admit I dirted out there. And I f forgot I had the, the completely uh, wrong item. So into carving here now. Um, I, I just wanted to, I wanted to mess with this Nitto King and see if this would actually work. It uses Earth Power, nearly one shots me. I go for the skill swap here and um, I actually take away Nitto King's Sheer Force and give it sturdy. Now, when uh, Nitto King doesn't have Sheer Force, it actually, that Life Orb will actually do damage to it. And I wanted to see, I wanted to see that happen. I thought it'd be funny. And Carbink sort of had run its race by this time and, you know, it wasn't really uh, that useful to me. Okay, so uh, that's Carbink down anyway. And um, he's an awesome little tank. And uh, that life orb's going to hit Nidoking. King. So, you know, it wasn't that bad a result, really. I didn't even have to really attack, which was cool. But yeah, Nidoking King uh, did, was really, really good there. So it's a uh, Staraptor. I was really, really scared of this thing. Um, you know, it's, it's a great poke and very, very strong with reckless ability. So I, I went into Grand Bull because I, you know, just thinking if this come in, I can get a Intimidate off at least. Uh, U-turn's not going to do a lot of damage to me because it's not very effective, plus the Intimidate um, damage. So, damn, those Stealth Rocks would have been really handy for that thing. Okay, so into Espeon, and I go straight here for the Banded Play Rough, and Espeon is not going to live with this um, at all. <laughs> Gramble hits pretty hard with the choice ban. So into um, into Tentacruel again. I sort of I'm sort of uh, forced to swap out here because uh, I am locked in, and I know you know I knew that would be doing a lot of damage. So into Hitmon lay here. Um, Tentacruel is going to go for the Sludge Bomb and does a little bit of damage to me. Now I am choice scarfed, and I go for the Earthquake, and that takes uh, Tentacruel out with a crit. I, as I said, I'm not too sure about the EVs on the Tentacruel. Um, you know how close it would have been, but it would have done heavy damage <clears throat> regardless. Okay, uh, into the Star Raptor again. So my only option here was really to swap into my Gramble again, get the Intimidate off, and you know if it used Brave Bird, I just you know do a bit of <laughs> I try and let it do a bit of damage to itself. There wasn't much I could do. This thing, this thing's really strong. It's a, it's a great poke. Okay, so that's um, my Gramble out the way. Um, on that side. Unfortunately, Brave Bird doesn't do, you know, as much recoil as I'd like. So into Hitmonlee here, 
I knew that I am at scarfed, and I wasn't sure whether this. It wasn't sure whether that was scarfed or banded yet. So into Magic Shroom, I missed with Stone Age, which really sucks. Um, you know, I needed that. I needed that for sure. Um, so I knew that I could still swap into my Executor here because you know I could. I could block any of its fighting moves and, you know, Spore and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's just going to continue to go for Mac Punch. It's not really going to worry me, really, at all. I don't think there was any moves that it could really hit me with that sort of seems like that. So uh, Psyshock's going to definitely take that one out. Now, I left um, I left Executor in here because I, you know, I had to, I had to get some uh, damage on, you know, Star Raptor and... Uh, you know, poor executor really just had to take the hit here. Um, fortunately, he doesn't leave. And he obviously wasn't going to leave that. Um, but I was hoping for you know for as much recoil as I possibly could, and that does um you know it does loads of recoil. So into uh, I think this this was my last poke and his last poke. So we had both had one poke. All. I just went for poison jab here because I was I was scarfed and I was like sweet. It must be banded then or something. Um, like I couldn't go for. I'd better go for the poison jab there and then missing. But anyway, uh, great game there, Luke. Um, uh, it was a good battle. Um, nice, nice close one as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please leave a like and comment below. Peace out, everyone.